Welcome to Digital Asset News, take a top stories in cryptocurrency and digital assets and bring it down to bite-sized pieces. Today, we've got some really great news. First up, PayPal's Venmo launches crypto trading for an additional 70 million users to buy and sell cryptocurrencies. And this is just great news for mass adoption. But the real question is, which cryptos are they going to be allowing on this platform? On top of that, we'll take a look at some more news about regulation as Biden administration developing crypto regs and the Treasury, which is Gensler, is to provide direction to the SEC and they give us a little snippet about what is happening as a potential Bitcoin ETF. And finally, we'll wrap it all up with some, in my opinion, some concerning news uh, about Voyager and their user or customer agreement and what that entails and what it means for you who use Voyager or think about using Voyager. So we'll take a look at those three things, but first let's take a look at what's going on in the market. So today is not a bad day, in all honesty. Uh, we're at 2.05 trillion. Now, yes, this is gonna sound funny when I say this, but yes, uh, we did lose uh, a couple hundred billion dollars in market cap, but uh, hey, it's cryptocurrency. And again, if you're new to this, this space, uh, watch the video we did yesterday. Uh, which talked about the different uh, happenings as far as these bull runs and how corrections are very normal. Actually, the average correction is uh, between uh, uh, 29 and 40 percent. So we're average about 35 percent dip in in, uh, in these corrections. And uh, last one, we only saw like it was like 20, 21 percent. So not a big deal in the traditional market. Uh, people are jumping out the windows in crypto. We call that a Monday. Not a big deal. Uh, but uh, here we are. So Again, uh, 2.05 trillion, and uh, I will take that uh, today. The, the sentiment in the market is still bearish, and if you don't know, we're talking about Trade the Chain. This is the sentiment analysis tool that I use. Links in the description for a, uh, a two-week trial to check it out, because what I like to do is just take a look at what's going on the coins. Oh, and before we, we get going, the hottest on Twitter over 24 hours is Dogecoin. Let's take a look at the price of that. Pirate Chain, uh, R, it's always funny. Uh, Vertcoin, Alpha, RLC, Easy Pulls, and Kava. Sure, this is this is where the magic is, though. I'm going to click on coins and see what we got. Well, Bitcoin's at 56,000 over the one hour. It's gone up almost two percent. 24 hours on one and a half percent. Ethereum's at 2286. Binance Coin 558. And everything is over the last hour is up a little bit. And it's not like massive, uh, huge number. Let's see what up, what went up massively. Well, Dogecoin, just so you know is up a whopping 2%, but it's down 12% for in a 24 hour time frame. And you see this hourly sentiment, it's all bearish. And where Trade the Chain excels is that it is one of five different crypto companies that has a direct API in Twitter. And it takes all those tweets, and everything that has to do with crypto on that specific coin and gives us a sentiment about what's going on. And it's very bearish. And I don't blame people. I think they're waiting for these corrections that we talked about on yesterday's video. And I think there's more to come. But if you see these corrections or these dips or whatever you want to call them, uh, after that, what happens? Goes up, dip, goes up, dip, goes up, and off we go. So uh, don't be too concerned right now. I think it's going to be you're in the right place at the right time. Not financial advice. This is just where, how I see things. So Everything's looking pretty good as far as the hourly. The daily is either neutral, maybe a little bullish, but the long-term sentiment, and this is what I want you to note, is all bullish. Pretty much all bullish all the way through here on this last one. Let me blow this up so you can see what I'm talking about, first of all. So you see, Bitcoin, hourly sentiment, bearish, neutral, but long-term, very bullish, very bullish, 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 very bullish, and so on and so forth. There is one more thing I want to talk to you about is Dogecoin. If you're investing in Dogecoin, God bless you. You know, good for you. You're a you're a real gambler, but uh, I think it's going to end pretty pretty poorly for for, for Dogecoin. And uh, I could be wrong. Hope I'm wrong, but uh, I know that there was a big push over on TikTok. A lot of different influencers over there were talking about uh, Dogecoin would go to a hundred dollars or a thousand or some stupid. It's just ridiculous. But uh, and people were talking about Doge 420, which is today, April 20th. It's almost 1 p.m. El Paso, Texas time. And guess what? didn't happen and actually slipped. So I think what that is, the classic pump and dump, um, you got dumped on, son, and that's pretty much what happened. And uh, I'm sorry, but uh, if you would have taken a look at things, I, I think it is the only way it was going to go. Now, it might pump again because it happens, but you have to take a look at, at Doge and just ask yourself, the team, was there some huge uh, uh, advancements? Was there a great partnership? 
Uh, was there something going on that, you know, like an upgrade to a mainnet 3.0 and there was a staking been offered and there's a new app and no, none of that. So if you want to invest in Doge, go right ahead. And that's all I'll say about that. And then uh, to finish up, just uh, real quick to uh, uh, endure into our inner trader. When you click on trade the chain for that one hour projected range right here, let's see what could go up in the next hour or so. So if I was a trader, which I'm not, look at BTU protocol, EasyFi, Sora, Aave, HiFi, and Skycoin. You're averaging around 3%, and this with 90% accuracy, uh, what's going to go up. So uh, take a look at those, and that's all I got. Anyhow, we got a lot to cover, so let's just jump in and uh, talk about what's going on as far as the big story. The big story today is this. I love talking about mass adoption. I love talking about cryptocurrency, where things are going, and uh, whether that be positive or negative, and this, my friends, is pretty damn positive. So PayPal's Venmo, and just so you know, in if you're not from America, we use, we use Venmo a lot. And uh, it's owned by PayPal. In other parts of the, of the country, or the country, <laughs> the world, use things like uh, like Line over there in, in uh, the uh, Asian countries, and uh, UBT, all the different ones, different messaging apps where you can sell, uh, send things. And Venmo is pretty big. It's got 70 million people on it right now. So this crypto just got exposed to 70 million people. So this is what the announcement says. Customers using crypto on Venmo can choose from four types of crypto. Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, and Bitcoin Cash. Shocker, that's the exact same thing that PayPal went with. And uh, of course, PayPal owns Venmo, so why wouldn't they do it? But it states when they make transactions, customers can also choose to share their crypto journey with their friends through the Venmo feed. And if you ever use PayPal, it's kind of just like, here's your money, that's it. But with Venmo, you can use like little emojis and different talks about things. Whatever. Some people like that. I think it's dumb. But uh, it just engages people. So this could be a big thing. And uh, look, if you want to use uh, crypto for payments, now you have it on Venmo. Great. Venmo is licensed to engage in virtual currency business activity by the New York State Department of Financial Services. So uh, they're on top of that. Buying, selling, and holding crypto with Venmo is not available in Hawaii and we're prohibited by law. So if you're looking for that outside of the U.S., it's not available even in Hawaii, even though it's, Hawaii is part of the United States, but whatever. So that's what's going on. Again, uh, the more people that we uh, get, we bring in, because PayPal just started this, what, two, three months ago or something like that. And then they're rolling it out to merchants globally uh, soon. They've already rolled it out to the United States. Now we have Venmo on, on board. So again, 2021 is a great year. A lot of institutions are there, hedge fund managers, uh, insurance companies, you name it, they're here. And uh, this could be enormous. Let me know what you think in the comments section. I think it's big, but I could be wrong. And uh, let's move on to the next